Alright, today in class we talked about 2.6, multiplying using expanded form. And there are four steps that we need to follow when we're multiplying using expanded form. So let's take a look at our four steps that we have to follow. The first step that we have to do is we have to expand. We have to take our larger number in our problem and we have to expand it out into our hundreds, tens, ones, or our thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, whatever the case may be. We're expanding to all those place values. Our second thing that we have to do is distribute. We're taking our smaller number on the outside and distributing it to all of our numbers on the inside. Our third step we have to do is to multiply. And our last step is to add. Let's take a look at a problem um, and the steps that we have to take to solve that problem. So here is our problem. Let's take a look at 4 times 500 36. Now, our first step tells us that we have to expand. We're going to expand our number 536. So we have 4, our 4 stays the same, times, and we're expanding 536 to 500, plus 30, plus 6. We have the value of our 5, the value of our 3, and the value of our 6. We used expanded form. Our second step is for us to distribute. We have to take our 4 and distribute it to our 500, to our 30, and to our 6. So it looks something like this. 4 times 500 plus 4 times 30 plus 4 times 6. Now our next step is to multiply. So that's step number three. I'm going to multiply all of these little branches. So I'm going to have my little carrots like we talked about in class. Cross out two zeros there. Four times five is 20. Add those back in and I get 2,000. Plus, cross one zero out there and I get 12 and I add it back and get 120. And then 24. And my final step, step number four, is to add. Now when I add, I have to be very careful to make sure that I add all that I line up all of my digits so that I don't make any silly mistakes when I'm adding. So I'm going to have 2,000, 120, and 24, and I'm going to add down, and I get 4 there, another 4 here, a 1 and a 2, and that is my final answer. Pretty simple. So I make my really big carrot, and I have 2,144 as my answer, following all four of my steps. Let's take a look at one more problem. Remember, it's super important that you follow all four of your steps. Here's our second problem that we're going to look at. Let's try 6 times 2,753. Now, step number one told us we have to expand. So we're going to expand our number 2,753. When we expand it, we get 2,000 plus 700 plus 50 plus 3. Our next step, step number 2, is to distribute. So I'm going to take my 6 and distribute it to all of my numbers. So I have 6 times 2,000 plus 6 times 700, plus 6 times 50, plus 6 times 3. Step number 3 is for me to multiply. So that's what I'm, gonna, that's what I'm going to do next. I have three zeros here, so I'm going to cross them out. 6 times 2 is 12, and I add those three zeros back, plus cross those two out and I get 42 and add those two zeros back in I have 4200 plus cross one zero out and I have 30 and add that zero back in and I get 300 plus 18 now my final step step number four is to add super duper important that we make sure we line all of our digits up 12,000 4200 318 Notice all of my digits are lined up nice and nicely, starting with my ones place so that I can add down. 8, 1, 5, 6, 1, 16,518 is my final answer. So remember, 
most important part is that we're using all four of our steps so make sure when you take a look you're using these four steps the first step is to expand second step is to distribute third step is to multiply and our final step is to add also make sure on your homework tonight that you are using a separate sheet of paper there's not enough room on your homework sheet in order for you to do all of these steps and be able to see your work so please use a separate sheet of paper alright guys and that's all there is to it I'll see you tomorrow